Hello friends, welcome back to the Craft Castle. Today we're gonna learn how to make a little window cling. You're not gonna be able to really tell, but they are like mirror um, sun catchers. I had seen this video on TikTok and I was like, oh my gosh, my daughter would love these. And then within a couple hours, my sister was sending my daughter the same TikTok and she was like, you need these. And so of course the crafty mama that I am, I made some and they work and I wanna show you how to make them because they are that amazing. Okay, so for this project, you are going to need some vinyl and transfer tape. Any color vinyl that you want is fine. I'm gonna be using black for this project just because you know you can be able to see what I'm doing a little bit. Um, but any color will work for this project. You are gonna need a Cricut. I'm gonna be using my Cricut Joy for this. You could use a Maker or a Explorer, you'll just have to adjust your settings to fit your particular machine. A weeding tool pick, this is from TechWrap. This vinyl is also from TechWrap. And then you're gonna want some scissors, but then you're gonna need this special, special material. And this right here is like a rainbow window cling. I'll link it in the description of the video exactly which one I bought. There's gonna be two different kinds. There's gonna be one that has a sticker back and one that is like a window cling. And I personally got the window cling one. I'm not really someone that likes to put stickers on windows because the residue um, bakes onto your window and then kind of ruins your window. So these, this one that I have does not have any stick on the back of it. And the way that you would be able to get it to stick onto your window is you would uh, spray some water, squeegee it on there, and then it's good. Then you can just reposition it at a later time or take them off when you are done. But I know it doesn't look like a whole lot, but they are absolutely amazing when you put them on your window and the sun catches these little prisms and then you just get rainbows all throughout your room and they are like really easy to make you are going to be mind blown at how easy these are to make okay so let's go over to the Cricut and we will design our window clean we're not going to do a dinosaur today we're going to be doing some crystals and um then we'll just get to cut and it's it's honestly super easy okay so i just opened up a blank window in design space and because i am using my Cricut joy I'm gonna come over here, instead of having Explore, I'm just gonna click that button and then go to Joy. If you have a different machine, Joy, Maker, whatever, you can also click that and change this. Okay, so I am going to be doing crystals today, but you can honestly do anything that you wanted. This project is, is very easy, it's very simple. So all I'm gonna do, I downloaded these like crystal files off Creative Fabrica. I'll link them in the description of this video, but I'm just gonna go into Upload and upload image okay i'm gonna find that download file and then i am just gonna scroll down until i find the crystals that i want to use the ones i want are pretty far down these ones right here okay and because i'm someone that doesn't really like to weed vinyl very much i'm gonna do one that doesn't have a whole lot of uh, small little pieces we can do this one right here Okay, so I have this crystal. This is the one I wanna use. So I'm just going to click it and I'm gonna drag and drop into my design space. Now, this one has a white background to it. So I'm gonna go into complex and I'm gonna to go to continue. You can tell that it has a white background if you can't see like a checkered board behind what you're trying to cut. So if we were to just leave it the way it is, we press apply and continue and we go over into this screen. Do you see how you have this like box? This is what is going to cut. So if it looks like this, then you need to go back. Okay, so because it's a white box, we can't see this like checkered thing. All I'm gonna do is, is because my lines are black, I'm just going to click on that. Now, if we had like a gray line, like a lighter color gray or pink, you could go down into more options and bump up your color tolerance and that would make for like crisper lines. But because my actual outline is black, 16 is perfect the way it sits. Okay, do you see how when I click that top left corner, you can see like this like weird uh, checkered background? That's exactly what we want. Now we want to re reveal that for everything else. So I'm just gonna go around and anything that I see white, I am going to click to reveal that checkered background. This is like super, super important. Okay, it looks like that I got everything. My checkered background is where I need it to be. You can come over here into preview cut 
and it will show you exactly how your image will cut and right now that's exactly what i want i want that black i'm going to be using black vinyl so every single charcoal gray color that you see is going to cut out in this black vinyl that's exactly what we want so now that i have it the way i want it i'm going to press apply and continue now i don't want it to be a print then cut object because i am going to be using vinyl i'm going to cut it out on vinyl so i'm going to go to cut image and i'm just going to rename this and then i'm just going to go over here into upload okay i'm only going to upload one today so i'm just going to upload i'm going to click on my upload you're going to see it right here drop down press add to canvas this uploaded large and in charge so i'm just resizing it so it fits into my computer screen we are going to resize this at the very end but just whew, that was big okay the very next thing you're going to want to do sometimes if you're finding files online and they have the outlines the outlines are really thin right i think that these lines in this particular file is like a perfect width it's nice and thick you can see how the one in my dinosaur they're kind of thin right so if i wanted thicker lines all you would do is come up here into offset and do you see this blue line that's around that now obviously everything that is that blue line is going to be our new outline and that's that's really thick right so i'm just going to drag this little circle down just a little bit if you wanted thicker lines if you're happy with the width of the lines that you have already for your original you don't have to do this step okay say we wanted thicker lines i can see that this blue line is just a little bit thicker than the original image that i uploaded when i have that i'm going to press apply okay when you've done that we are going to uh, take our original upload and we can delete that now i'm not going to delete it because i liked my original upload now you're going to want to change this over to whatever vinyl color that you're using i'm going to be using black okay i'm going to use both my crystals as examples of how this would work it is going to be the same so whether or not you chose to make your lines thicker or not the steps are all the same going forward so taking let's just take the one on the left the one that we thickened and i'm going to go over here into offset and this time remember how we made it like nice and tight we actually want to make it like a bubble so we want to make it really large and you have to remember this this really large portion that we're creating right now is going to be the rainbow film that we use so the larger the bubble the more rainbow opportunity you have to be a sun catcher on your window so making this however big or small you want i would suggest doing it a pretty decent size so we get like good rainbow coverage on our window uh this is not an exact science this is just how you want it to look okay so i'm just gonna press apply i like that now i'm gonna turn this over from that dark cho charcoal gray i'm gonna click that little square and i'm gonna make it like a light blue just so that tells me that that light blue is the rainbow color okay so doing the same thing with the one on the right the original one that i uploaded you're just going to offset creating that same bubble I actually like the same bubble size as what we did for the for the left one so i'm just going to press apply and then change that over into light blue okay so before we move forward if you did not use an uploaded image and you wanted to use like a random shape that you know design space offers for free i'm going to select all of these and i'm going to move this down for a second let's go over here into shapes and we can let's do a star so we're just going to click a star and if you're in shapes these up here are free they're free to use so we're just going to click that star okay i'm going to make this big just so we can see what we're doing we're going to resize this later now this is a solid figure right and we want to make it an outline just like what our crystals look like so we're going to go over here into offset and the current offset that we have was that big bubble that we created earlier I don't want it to be a big bubble. I want it to be like, I want to create an outline. So for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that dot and I'm going to drag it in. I'm not going to create an offset for this because I like the image of the original star, but I do want to make it an outline. So going over to the left of this vertical line, you can see this blue line that's on the inside of the star. That's going to be the inside portion of our outline. The if the further left that you go the thicker your outline is going to be so you see how i'm pretty much in the middle of that left that left side of that vertical line 
Do you see how this right here is going to be my outline? Anything that's between the outside portion of that star to the inside portion of this outline. This entire area right here is going to be my outline. So if you don't want your outline to be that thick, then just drag your circle until you get about the thickness that you want. Now for this, I'm gonna change it over. These are rounded corners and I can see that over here in some of these little areas, I have like rounded tips and I don't want rounded tips, I want hard tips, like hard pointy tips. So I'm gonna go and make this like square. You can see how now, instead of it being rounded, it has, it has squared off corners, that's what I want. So I click that and now I press apply. So now you have two stars. You have that gray one and now a black one. So I'm gonna select both of these and I'm gonna come down here to slice. Here is one star, I don't need that, so I'm gonna delete that. And then here is another inside star, I'm gonna delete that because I don't want it. What you're left with is our outline. So I'm gonna change this over to black because I'm gonna be using black vinyl. And then what we're gonna do is the same steps as what we did with the original crystals that we did. We have our outline, now we need to go into offset and we need to create that large bubble. And instead of going in this time, I'm gonna take this dot, I'm gonna to go to the right of that vertical line, and it's okay if you have something on the inside of your outline, we'll fix that here in a second. So for this one, I actually want rounded corners. Why? I don't know. Okay, so for this one, because I have a inside outline, I am only concerned about this outside blue line. So anything from this black star to this blue line is going to be my bubble on the outside. We're gonna get rid of that inside portion here in a second. So we're only worried about this. So taking your little dot and we are just gonna drag it. Whenever you get the outside bubble the way you want, just press apply. And again, you're left with this little star that's in the middle. If you don't want that, just come down to contour and we are just going to click that inside star and then we're gonna click out of that box. And now that inside star is gone. That's exactly what we wanted. Okay, let's zoom out. Oh, and the very last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that charcoal gray star, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna change it to a light blue. Okay, so these dinosaurs that I made are kind of small. They're two by three inches and they are pretty tiny. I made more for my daughter and I did about four to five inches and I like that size. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna select my star and I'm gonna resize this to about four and a half inches. Doing the same thing with this one. Let's make this one five inches and this one we'll also do five inches. Okay, so we are gonna get three different sun catchers out of this. Okay, make sure and save this, save your work. Okay, then we're gonna go into make it. Okay, so I had to change the, okay, so I had to change the size of the star because I'm so used to working with the explorers that 12 by 12 is like a standard size in my brain and apparently this can only cut up like four inches wide <laughs> and the star is four and a half inches wide. So I'm gonna change this over to four inches and then press make it. I was like having a weird error message and it wasn't telling me why I was having the error message. It would have been nice for them to be like, uh, girl, you are cutting this too large. Okay, so I'm gonna do six mats all together. And because I have them really large, I'm not gonna be able to fit more on my page. So I'm just gonna press continue. Okay, my Bluetooth has already been connected to my machine. I'm gonna press that premium vinyl because that's what I'm gonna be using for this project. And now just put my mat into my machine. Okay, when that's all done, I'm just gonna press go and let the machine cut the vinyl. Okay, before we eject the vinyl out, I always like to check to make sure that my decal cut looks really good. So now I'm gonna press unload on my computer and it's going to eject. This is a fairly sticky mat and so it kind of likes to keep my material. I just like to turn my mat over and roll away from my decal. Okay, I am going to just put on another decal Alrighty, and then I'm gonna stick it in there. Pressing premium vinyl again. Okay, and then I'm gonna press go. 
Okay, press unload. Now we got one more decal to do. Unload. Okay, we have made it to this plasticky film part of our project. So there is like two sides. One of it is like a rougher, bumpier side. The other one is smooth. The smooth side is the one that goes onto your window. And so I like to put the decal on top of it on this rough surface. So I'm gonna lay my rainbow on top. Now it's going to be hard to see because it's clear, but essentially that rainbow is on top of the mat. Do you see that? Okay, now let's put this in. Okay, and for this one, I'm gonna go to popular and then we're gonna go into browse all materials. Now I am going to use the, wow, searching the, <laughs> Uh, this is kind of crazy searching the um like the preset things there is one for window clean so let's click that and press done i used a completely different setting on my cricut explorers i used the cardstock plus method and i didn't have to do another second cut and that was really good so if you have a cricut explorer error try the cardstock plus method okay now i'm going to insert this and i'm going to leave it to the default pressure since we're doing multiple multiple of these um, we'll be able to determine what's the good setting in a little bit and then we'll just press go we're testing out this cut okay just like we did with this with the vinyl because this is a brand new material i'm just going to try and lift this off of my my mat and it doesn't look like it cut all the way through it's going to be very hard to see but like the tip of the line is right here so i'm just going instead of pressing unload i'm going to press rerun and then the machine's going to suck it back up we're going to go to pressure we'll do more pressure and then we'll press go obviously the settings that we chose for the very first one weren't correct settings okay let's try this again oh and see now it cut really good and it's peeling right off let's press unload and see how that is like perfect okay before we peel this off because it will curl if you peel it off and then it kind of is like a little bit harder to um put lay your decal on there i'm just going to cut a piece of transfer tape the size of my decal okay this transfer tape is the size of this decal i'm just going to take the plastic off this is the sticky portion i'm going to lay this on top of my vinyl decal if you have a credit card, use a credit card or a squeegee will work. And we just want to kind of burnish the decal on top of our transfer tape. Okay, just like this. Now we're going to roll it over and we are going to peel away the backing of our vinyl decal. So we have this and now our decal is stuck to our transfer. Now this is going to be the hard part because we are layering on top of something that's clear. You want to take your decal and kind of put it in the middle of your design just like what we had it in our in when we were designing this okay looks pretty good and then i'm just going to take my my credit card or the squeegee we're just going to burnish it on there and now when you do that what's going to happen is is your window cling is going to come up with your transfer tape and what's left is is like this clear film you can go ahead and throw this away because that's going to be the back of your window cling you don't need that and then we have this right so now this is like the hardest part of the entire project is trying to get your window cling away from your transfer tape there we go okay so this is your finished rainbow window cling it looks like nothing right now but once you put that on your window it's going to just be absolutely gorgeous okay let's do the same thing we did before with the other crystals and that star okay there is our finished decal look at how stinking cute that is now let's go put this on the window and we can see how cute our decals are okay so here is my craft room window the sun is kind of coming in all you want to do is take your window clean do you see how like rainbowy that is how stinking cute and you want to put the smooth side onto your window now i am just placing these on there without any sort of water how 
However, I would suggest if you are wanting to do this as like a more permanent thing so it doesn't like fall down because they will eventually start to like come off, is I would spray some water and then squeegee the clings on there and get rid of the water. That way it just kind of creates a suction, but otherwise that, look at how stinking cute these window clings are. Look at, look at that. Do you see that and all that beautifulness? Now, once the sun comes through my window, it is going to shine all of that beautiful rainbow onto my walls, my floor, everything in my craft room. Yes, obsessed. All right, y'all, I sure hope I inspired you to create and I will see you later.